This is the fifth video in the 10 part login to Firebase with SwiftUI playlist series. In this video, we're going to go to the Firebase console and set up a project, configure it for iOS with both sign in with email and Apple capabilities. We'll also establish our database to save our user information in Firestore and finally go to Apple the developer account and allow the app project to send emails to an Apple sign in user. So go to the Firebase console, and I'll leave a link to this in the notes below, and you can sign in with your Google account. The first step is to add a new project. You can enter a name for your project, and I'll just call mine Firebase Login, and click on Continue. I keep Google Analytics on, and click Continue again. If you don't have another Analytics account, you can choose the default account for Firebase then create project. While the project is being created, you can return to your Xcode project and copy the bundle identifier. Switching back to the console, once it's finished building, you can click on continue. We can now add an iOS app to our project. Paste your bundle identifier in, and then click Register App. This generates a Google services infoplist file that you'll need to download. Drag this file into your project navigator and be sure to select Copy if needed. Back at the console, tap on Next. The instructions here are to make sure that you have CocoaPods installed and you have to create a new pod file and add the appropriate pods for your project and install. I'm assuming here that you are all familiar with adding a CocoaPod to your project, so I'm going to go through this process rather quickly. If you've never installed CocoaPods, there are lots of tutorials available that will help you out. This is how I do it. I start with terminal and CD to my project, which happens to be on the desktop so it's easy for me and I can use terminals autocomplete to help me out. I just then type pod init. I use Xcode to open my pod file. So open a Xcode pod file. It opens it in a new window. In this Google documentation website, you'll find which pods are required. Again, I'll leave a link to this in the notes below. For our purposes, we need Firebase Analytics, Auth, and Firestore. So I'm just going to add those three to my pod file. And make sure you save it. And I'll exit Xcode. Back in Terminal, I can type ls-l to see that I'm in the correct directory. And then type pod install. Once the installation has completed, return to the Firebase console and tap on Next. And we see that we are instructed to add some code to our project. This time, when we open our project, we'll use the XE workspace file and then proceed to the app delegate. The first thing we have to do is import Firebase. And then in the did finish launching, add Firebase app.configure. Now we can build and run and switch back to the Firebase console and tap Next. Firebase is now waiting for your app to build, and eventually it will communicate with Firebase. This may take a while, even up to a few minutes, and I've edited this video for brevity, but eventually the notice will turn green with a congratulation notification. Continue to console. And at the console, we need to add two products to our app, authentication and cloud Firestore. Click on authentication and then the set up sign in method tab. And then enable email password. And 
sign in with Apple. You don't have to do anything else for an iOS app here. That's all. Next, click on Database, then Create Database. Select Start in Test Mode, then Next. And I always choose the default location and click on Done. Next, go to Project Overview, Project Settings, and change the public facing name to something like Firebase Login. This is the name that will be used when a user asks for a password reset. Now copy the project ID as you're going to need this in the final step. Log in to your developer account for Apple. We need to specify that our app project is allowed to send emails if the user has logged in via Apple. And this will be the case if we request a password reset. So in Certificates, IDs, and Profiles, tap More, then Configure. Add Email Source, and you'll have to enter into the Email field. The format here is always the same. It's always No Reply at your project ID dot Firebase app dot com. So since we copied it, here's what my app email address is. You are now ready to start adding an authentication process to your app. Videos for this series are being posted as they're created. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to be notified when new ones are posted, not only for this playlist, but for all of my Swift UI videos.